In 1992, IBM announced the first ever smartphone, probably one of the greatest inventions in mankind's history. And 15 years later, in 2007, Apple came along and completely reimagined it. But let's be honest, it hasn't really evolved much since. And like everyone else today, you probably have a love-hate relationship with that slab in your pocket. On the one hand, it's this amazing, carry-anywhere, do-anything device. On the other hand, it's a soul-sucking, time-consuming, procrastination black hole. So much so that people now set themselves screen time limits and time limits for specific apps. Let's face facts, smartphones are becoming really unhealthy. And this is what's known in research as a weak signal. Although if the signal was any stronger, it would be like having a front row seat to the Trinity test. As a result, we've now started to see a wave of dumb phones flooding the market, as well as a resurgence of screenless fitness trackers like Whoop, whose only goal is passive tracking. It's tech done at its best. It's passive, it's in the background and non-invasive. And that's where the nothing phone comes in. More specifically, the Nothing Phone 2, which is Nothing's second iteration, which starts at $599 and goes all the way up to $799. You see, what Nothing have understood is that there's a middle ground between a super dumb internet-free phone like the Punked Phone and the kind of three-screen behemoths that we're being told we need to buy today. They're giving us all the things we love about our phones, as well as the ability to engage with our favorite apps and the internet, but on our own terms. And when it comes to the Nothing phone, this understanding has culminated in a new glyph interface that represents a small but compelling step forward in smartphone design. On the face fit, its capabilities seem somewhat underwhelming. There's a charging progress indicator, a volume indicator, a notification bar that will stay lit until a notification for a specific app of your choice is addressed. And then there's the Glyph Timer, which is great for everything from studying, cooking, or just simply waiting for an Uber. But it's in the intention and usability behind these things that could be a sign of things to come in the future. And then there's the broader design of this phone. Whoa, very nice. Look at that. To be blunt is definitely renovation rather than innovation compared to the previous model. But not only is that deliberate, it's also just understatedly refreshing. A tasteful thickness of it. The total transparency is still as addictive as ever. Oh my god, it even has a watermark. Small tweaks to the curvature of the glass back, as well as the colours, are subtle but welcome tweaks. Good colouring, that's bone. And when you sit back and think about it, it's so easy to see where some of the design inspiration comes from. Both in the software and in the hardware, Nothing have drawn upon a rich back catalogue of science fiction films for their stimulus, and that's definitely a good thing. Wrap all of this together with some flagship bevel specs and you start to have a solid base for a really strong device. So are the specs really that flagship? There's already been a bunch of videos covering the hardware for this new phone, so I'm not going to bore you with the details again. Thank you! What I will say is that the battery life is reasonable, especially given the Glyph interface. The screen is nice and snappy thanks to the new dynamic refresh rate, as well as being significantly brighter this year as well. Impressive. Very nice. But where this phone falls down is the camera. In short, it's very average, and it doesn't come anywhere close to iPhone quality yet. Given the increase in price since last year's model, that's a bit of a letdown. Something wrong? Patrick? You're sweating. So with all that in mind, what have we got here? Well, if you put the camera to one side for the moment, I think we've got a phone that we might have got from Apple years ago had the team there stayed small. I think we've got the dumbest smartphone yet, and that is a good thing. Yes, the camera needs a big upgrade. Yes, the phone itself is a bit too big for a lot of people. And yes, it's glitchy in a lot of places. But Nothing is a young company with a point to prove. It's a hungry team that's not afraid to push the boat out, even if that means failing a bit along the way. Everything they're doing is grounded in the weak signals of the world. In short, they're listening to what people actually need, even if they don't know that they need it yet. And for me, that's what makes this worth keeping an eye on. And with that, I'll say goodbye. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.